What's up guys, how you guys doing today? So me and my dad have to head out right now. We're going over to the courthouse because I got this ticket before um, I was on the highway and just, I don't know, I really got pulled over for like a stupid reason. So we're gonna go there right now and hopefully get some points deducted for this ticket. Because the last thing I need is extra points on my license. But I was pretty much rushing out the door so I barely had any time to eat. So maybe I can pick up food on the way, I'm hoping, if we're not too late. Please I don't do. know. Shit, I don't know if you guys can see all that traffic, but we might end up being late. We literally just pulled out onto the highway and ran into all this traffic as soon as we stepped foot on it. Oh my gosh, this traffic is terrible. No, you don't need the drone, you just need the battery. I'm on FaceTime right now with Grandma. I'm trying to explain to her how to plug in my drone battery because I need it for later today. Me and the family might end up going to the beach. I need to make sure it's charged. What'd you say, Graham? Plugged in. Oh, you plugged it in? The battery locked. Yep, you plugged it into the wall. Did you plug that into did you plug the battery into the charger now? Into my charger. <laughs> it took me like 15 minutes, not even kidding. You can ask my dad, right? To explain that to my grandma. It was the funniest shit. It took like 10 minutes just to explain to her how to pull the battery out of the drone, but she finally got it. And then it was a little quicker of a process once she had to plug it into the wall. <laughs> All right, well, luckily it looks like we found a Wawa going towards the courthouse. So I'm gonna stop there really quick and grab food because my stomach is killing me. Like, I I'm getting so dizzy right now, it's that bad. So I'm gonna get some food in my system and we should be good. So I'm gonna get a ham and cheese bagel melon. I'm just waiting on that right now. This is it's gonna take like four or five minutes, so we're just chilling here. All right, so I just got the bagel melt. I have to wait on it. My dad's in the car right now. We just got to the courthouse. We're gonna go in there now. All right, so we just got out of the court, and it went a lot better than the previous ticket did. So that's good, but we're gonna head home right now. I think we have to pick up some food for my mom because she hasn't eaten yet today. And then we- Please turn third left. This thing is always talking whenever I try and talk. And then me and my family are gonna head over to the shore today. I think we're going to Ocean City. Shitty, yeah. Ocean City. So that'll be fun. I'm gonna bring the drone along with me. It's charging right now and get some cool drone shots for you guys. What's up, Gio? What's going on, boy? You tired? Oh, he's just laying here. He's waiting for Sabrina to get home. <laughs> he's just laying here all upset. You want a belly rub? Yeah, that's what you want, boy. Come on, Gio, you wanna go potty, boy? Take him outside right now. Let's see if he ends up going to the bathroom. He hasn't gone yet today. Oh, he's peeing right now. That's good, at least. Yeah, boy. Let's go. gonna go right to his food. No. Wow, that's the first. He's not feeling good today. He's like out of it. He's probably just really tired or he's not feeling well. Still wants that belly rub though. Me and Gio are just like laying down next to each other right now. <laughs> I'm petting him, he likes it. Every time he hears the door open or close, he, think it's, he thinks it's a burn and he like pops up. He's like about to fall asleep. His eyes are closing right now. I mean, he's still a baby. He still needs a lot of rest. All right guys, so I'm getting ready to head out right now. I got my bag full of stuff, I gotta bring my laptop. Grandma's on the phone talking right now. So I gotta throw all this stuff in my bag right here, and then we also gotta grab my drone. And if you guys remember that monster truck that we got a couple weeks ago, it's the electric um, RC car. Me and my dad charged it up, we're gonna bring it to the beach and hopefully have some fun with that as well. I'm bringing everything to this beach, man. I also got my life proof case so I can bring my phone underwater. This is the thing about vlogging, you always gotta make sure you're prepared for any situation. I got my extra batteries, I got every single thing I need right now. I find these flip flops, I'm gonna beat you with them. <laughs> my mom's pissed at me right now because I've been looking for like the past 10 minutes of we us trying to leave. We've been trying to leave for like the past 10 minutes. I cannot find my shoes anywhere for the beach. See, here's the thing. I put my shoes in a specific area that I know they will be at. And then other people throw them in different places and I can never find them. Like if I know where something's gonna be, just leave it there and let it be. Instead, they just go and throw them in baskets and like all this other shit. My dad's getting so pissed off right now because we're all running late. Only thing I gotta do, grab my drone and we'll be out of here. How am I gonna hold this? All right, so I finally got everything. Drone is tied down, we're good. I never put this thing in the case. It's too much of an annoyance for me to take it apart and everything. We usually go down to Wildwood Beach, but today we're going down to Ocean City. It's a lot closer, isn't it? Yeah. This has gotta be like one of the longest bridges I've ever seen. Yeah. That's insane. It like goes up again all the way back there. Mom's bleeding somehow, how did you do that? I don't know, I scratched my arm and it just won't stop bleeding. I hit it with my nail, I don't know if it was a mole or something. Damn, it's gotta be a sharp nail. I, no, it's just weird. That's weird. Yeah. We're gonna stop at a McDonald's real quick because I'm starving. It's like almost two o'clock and I haven't eaten anything in a couple hours. Now we're talking. McDonald's two days in a row. That can't be healthy. We could have went to the Domino's. Domino's? Yeah. All right, so we just got to the beach. I got my drone right now. I think I'm just gonna stay by the boardwalk and try and get some shots and then bring this back to the car 
and then we'll go out to the beach with everybody else. They're all walking over to the beach right now. It's my family, and I got a drone. I'm just gonna shoot this up. I got my drone flying back home right now. It's returning to home because it's dying. But I got this thing up to 45 miles per hour. That is the fastest I've ever gotten this thing going. That is crazy. I don't know if it's because of the winds today. All right, well, the drone is officially completely dead. So me and my dad right now are taking the drone back to the car. And we also brought that RC truck. So we're going to take that out as well right now. We got the drift buoy out. This thing drifts like crazy. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy shit. <laughs> you see that? Flinging it off the top of that. <laughs> ah, you fuck. My dad just hit me with it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put this up here and then floor it off and try and make it jump back onto the sand. All right, go. Oh! <laughs> Keep doing donuts. Oh, you almost clipped me. Oh no, I got some sand in my lens. I hope it's not distracting this video. Shit, man. I can't get it out. It's stuck. All right, so I'm running into issues with my camera again. It looks like the screen cracked on the back because my monster truck just rode over it. And now whenever I try and shut the camera off, it keeps giving me a lens error and the, and the lens won't go back in. Man, I keep fucking these things up. These cameras break way too easily. Yep, guys, look at my camera. It's totaled. You can't even see shit. It's all blurry, man. Well, anyway, this thing just died, so we're gonna go put it back in the car. Well, this is just completely bad luck at this point, man. I can't believe I pretty much just broke another camera. At least I can still record on it. The only bad thing is I cannot close my lens. So whenever I shut my camera off, it's always giving me an error and the lens won't go in fully. I'm trying to find my family right now. I have no idea where they are. I'm calling my mom. Yo, where are you guys at? We are to the right. To the right? I, I don't know where you are. My sister's always trying to take selfies with me. Why? <laughs> Wait, that looks terrible. Oh, no, it's terrible. I wasn't even looking at it. Wait, you're getting my spot. What fat? What are you talking about? She's always complaining. Well, I always complain too, so. There, there's your daily picture that she takes no, with me. She out. takes, she asks me for a picture every single day to take with me. Come on, let's take it. Dad, you want to go in? Let's go. Hold the show, dude. I'll bring the camera. It's cold. <laughs> my dad doesn't want to go in. He's scared. <laughs> Push him in. It's too cold. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> this water is coming up so close to us. We're probably going to have to move our ship back pretty soon. Even though this water is freezing, I'm about to just dive right in. Because I know I'll probably be cold as shit at first, but I'll get used to it a lot quicker than just sitting here and being like a pussy and just trying to like ease my way into it. Because like my legs already feel like they're starting to get warm because they've been in here for a while. There's so many waves though today. So I forgot my life proof case in the car. So I got to go back and get that right now so I can show you guys some footage from actually inside of the water and I don't fuck up another camera. All right, so I just grabbed the case right here. I'm gonna go back and put it on my phone. But this ground is so hot, I forgot to put on flip flops. <sighs> Whatever, I'm running back right now. Probably gonna end up getting a splinter. He's moved up here. That's funny. Yeah, it's coming up really close. All right, well, my dad went out. He doesn't want to go in. I'm having a bunch of issues with my life proof case as well right now. For some reason, it's not working correctly. I don't know. And I don't want to damage my phone because I already damaged my camera today. I don't want to damage that as well. I'm just taking a walk down the beach right now. My dad wants to check out these rocks up here. What's so special about these rocks that you wanted to see? <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> You're such a kid. Freaking seagull attack, man. Holy hell, there's a lot. Somebody dropped food. Look, they're all attacking over here. Holy shit. No climbing on rock. 
<laughs> Look, everyone else does it, don't even matter. But Lizzie actually came down to the shore today with her family, and she's like right near here, so I'm gonna go walk over there right now and try and find her. What up? What's going on? Where's your shirt? Uh, I'm shirtless. I didn't bring a shirt. Put a shirt on. <laughs> What's going on? You already broke this camera I saw on your Snapchat. Yeah, I know, it's all fucked up already. <laughs> I just got it yesterday. I know. What are you doing? Trying to see how cold it is? Yeah, but I don't know if I want to touch it or not. I'll push you in. No, I have a <laughs> I'm flying, I wouldn't. So me and my family are going to go get food right now, and Liz is going to head back and go with her family, because they're all going on rides and stuff today. They're not even going on the beach. Yeah, I wanted to see it for a little bit. Yeah. Lizzie just said bye to me, and then she walks in the same exact direction as us anyway, so well, I don't know family, you said bye. My family's that way, and I thought you guys were walking that way. No. I didn't know. <laughs> All right, so Lizzie just left. I'm walking back with my family right now to go drop all of our stuff off in the car. And then we're gonna head over and get some pizza. Sabrina, what? <laughs> I said what to her like 40 times. We're going in this pizza place right now. My sister literally just called me on the phone and she was right in front of me. And she called me and she said, where are you at? She called me. She thought I was bad. <laughs> all right, so we just got our food. We got half pepperoni, half plain. Pizza's pretty damn good. It's just burning hot right now, so I can wait for it to cool off a little bit. Holy shit, their pizza's smoking. Alright, so we just left there and finished up eating. That place is insanely crowded. I guess it's really popular. Is that like one of the most popular pizza yeah. spots? It's down here, yeah. Yeah. What'd you say? There's usually lines further longer than that. Really? It's crazy, man. Looks like we got a good hour drive home. Guys, seriously, if I keep breaking these cameras, I feel like I'm not gonna have any cameras to vlog with. I'm probably gonna have no more vlogs for a couple of days until I'm able to buy them again. Because there's no cameras left in the Best Buy around us and I have to drive like an hour away just I'm to get a camera. But of course I could just try and record my iPhone. When it comes out. My dad's but, backing uh, up right now on a highway. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna get killed. Okay, it still works, like he missed his away. exit, but okay, we just got off the right exit now. Sabrina and Frank have been on the phone for 38 <laughs> minutes so far. That's like our entire car ride so far. 39. That's crazy. They say they're just friends. We are! <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about the girl he's seeing tonight. Two hours. How long has it been now? <laughs> Two hours. No, you just hung up. That's why. You've been on the phone at least an hour now. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Exactly an hour. Why does it say two hours? That's not, that's two minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's, Dad, do you see this? This is what I'm talking about. Sabrina, you're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> wait, what happened? Somebody wants you and your brother to have a burping contest. A burping contest? I'll win, bitch. Yeah, she'll win. <laughs> what? She can like burp on command. So we didn't think we were gonna have any time to go to the post office today based on the time that they close and based on the time that we were getting home. But it seems that they close in like 20 minutes and we're like probably two minutes around the corner from our house. So we're gonna try and rush over there. It's a lot farther than the other post office that we used to go to, but we might be able to make it. I just called them up to make sure that they have the packages and everything and I told them that we're gonna try and rush over there. Hopefully they don't close and we can get some packages today. My sister's running upstairs right now to try and get the keys for her car. What the hell is up my lens? There we go. I told you my camera's broken. I don't know why she's bringing Gio with us, but we're leaving. Go slow. Gio loves that wind. <laughs> He's sticking his whole head out the window. Walked inside and Gio got so excited for seeing my sister because he hasn't seen her he all day that, that he peed. He's been doing that a lot recently. He never used to do that. I hope he doesn't continue to do that because our old dog used to do that every single time like I said before. Look at him. <laughs> He's chilling out the window. <laughs> But he peed and grandmom got pissed off and sometimes when grandmom gets mad she like slurs her words and she called him Cleo instead of Gio. She's like, come on Cleo or whatever. Cleo, Cleo whatever the fuck Love your you name Gio. is. <laughs> 6.53 right now, they close at 7 o'clock. Honestly, I feel like we're gonna get there and there's gonna be like two minutes left until they close. Damn, we just made it with three minutes to spare. So this is all the mail we just picked up. Not too much, which is pretty good. And look at that, they were just about to close. Look how dangerous this is. You have to back up, and then you have to check both ends and make sure no cars are coming, and then you pull out. It's really dangerous. It's a, it's a small lot. Uh, there's cars coming. Both ends. You like that wind, boy? <laughs> Man, I just want to stick a camera on Geo and just see what he does throughout the day. I felt my ass getting warm. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is your heat seaters on? I don't know 
Why the fuck? Oh, he geo turned them on. He probably stepped on it. <laughs> he did. It's freaking 90 degrees outside and we got seat warmers on. Geo put them on by stepping on them. Well, looks like the sprinklers gave my car a little wash. When my sister goes upstairs, Gio just sits here at the bottom of the stairs and waits for her. I'm surprised he hasn't tried going up there yet. Look, he's just waiting, man. Oh my gosh, he's trying. Look, he's bolting to her. Look, he just ran past you. Oh, he wants the blanket. He don't even want you. He wants me to lay down with him, but let's go. We're going to open the mail right now. In this package, it seems that we got some type of bracelets. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's a but oh, it's silly string and it comes with a blaster gun. Great. That is sick. Now this makes it even easier to shoot this stuff. That is perfect. Thank you so much. I have tons of silly string, so this will definitely come in handy. Oh, we got a mini drone for inside. That is dope. I remember somebody saying that they were gonna send this the other day. I oh, you know what? It says from Mike Swanson. Thank you, Mike. Oh, we got some diamond earrings, and we also got. A necklace, that's pretty cool. We got some gummy bears, brisk Arizona raspberry iced tea, fake lottery ticket, some cards for Jace, grooming spray for Geo, some gum, a chew toy for Geo, and some lollipops. This package is from Canyon Fogel, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, we got Carolina Reaper. I guess this is the most extreme pepper that you can get. I don't know how this compares to the ghost pepper. It might even be hotter. Damn, I am so scared to try that. I think I will eventually, but oh, that is so hot. This package is from Matt Koch. Thank you so much, Matt. Thinking putty, liquid glass. What? Hmm. This seems pretty interesting. I'm gonna try this out. Hi, Lance and Lizzie. I hope you enjoyed your gift from Carlos Telez. Thank you so much, Carlos. This package is from Skylab. So I see some t-shirts. It says Skylab on it. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And ooh, what is this? Oh, you know what? I actually remember. They said they were going to send this over. This is a stabilizer for your phone. They emailed me and asked me if they wanted me to send this over. And of course I said, yeah, why not? So it basically stabilizes your phone. And if you're moving around a lot, it'll keep it steady so there's not a lot of motion blur and it just causes the video to distort a lot. Oh! What? Um... Is that real? What is it? It's cockroaches. Close it now! Holy shit! Is that real? Close it! Close it! It's real! There's fucking real cockroaches! Oh my god, close Holy shit, they're fucking huge! Oh my Love god! It. My sister's scared as fuck right now. Somebody sent cockroaches! Holy shit, how did these not die? <laughs> how did this not die? Yo, I'm not even creeped out right now. I think that's pretty fucking funny. But holy shit! That's a real fucking cockroach and it's huge. What? I'm so confused right now. There's another one in there too, but it seems to be dead. Huh. Hey, little guy. That's the first time I've ever received something like that. Are they moving? Yeah, it's moving. I think the other one's dead. One of them's alive. Why the fuck is it so big? It's huge, ain't it? Where does somebody even find something like that? That's crazy. Please get it the fuck out, mom. Say get it the fuck out. <laughs> She's so scared. Okay, let's see if, is there other ones in here? Yeah. I just see. Ah, uh, yep, the other one's moving too. Get it out. Now. Huh. Before it leaves. That's crazy. Before it leaves its nest. Yeah, that thing's alive, man. Get it out. Let's bring you outside, boy, and set you free to the wild. Or girl, whatever the fuck you are. My sister is so petrified right now. Oh, Ooh. shit. <gasps> I'm done. It's this big. It's it is huge. How is that even? I've never even seen one that big. Wow, this thing is a monster. Oh, I cannot believe how big this thing is. How the hell did they get it in there? I don't even know. You know what it reminds me of? Like that Bugs Life guy? Like, <laughs> what? Like the Bugs Life one? That is huge. I feel bad. These fucking bugs were trapped they in there. Fly? No, yeah. it's a beetle. Grandma's coming down to investigate. I want to know yeah. what kind that is. Look at that. That was a heart. <laughs> what is it, a beetle? Yeah, I think so. Two. Oh, he's finding his way around. 
I have no idea what kind of cockroach this is. I, I'm assuming it's a cockroach just because of the looks of it. All right, so considering that just happened, I don't know if I'm gonna continue doing the post office openings on camera because I feel like people are just trying to prank me now and it's just causing a lot of issues. For example, one of the issues was involving all those boxes we received for no reason whatsoever. And now people are sending cockroaches and bugs and shit in our mail and it's really unnecessary, honestly. So you guys can still send stuff to the P.O. box, but I feel like people are just trying to pull pranks on me, so I put it in the vlog. And I think I'm gonna have to open the mail from now on outside as well, in case shit like that happens again. All right, guys, listen. I understand that you guys wanted to prank me. Um, you guys did the same thing with the boxes. So not the same exact people, somebody else did. Or somebody sent a bunch of boxes to me and we didn't even take them home anyway. But please do me a favor. If you guys want me to continue doing these P.O. box openings, please do not send me stuff like that. Because now my entire family is like paranoid that there's gonna be cockroaches infested in our entire house and they're gonna lay eggs and the babies are gonna fucking be swarming around our entire house and pretty much our entire house is gonna be infested with bugs. We don't need that. So instead of fully cutting off the P.O. box now, right now, I'm gonna give you guys like one more chance to like not do shit like this again, cause I feel like that's kinda unfair to the people who send packages to me all the time and actually enjoy watching it. I don't wanna just cut it off right away. Like I feel like I wanna try and do it as much as I possibly can so you guys can enjoy it. And there's gonna be a lot of people in the comment section I already know that are gonna be like, oh my God, Lance can pull pranks on other people but he can't take a prank. And here's the thing, I got scared at first by it but I didn't like overreact like my sister and my mom and my family did. I didn't care, I thought it was kinda of funny at the same time but I understand their point of views and this is our family home. So I don't want to be destroying my family home. So please guys, out of respect, just don't send stuff like that from now on. And unfortunately, if I do keep getting stuff sent to me like that, I'm gonna have to just stop the P.O. box openings on camera. All right, very last package. Oh, they're like car caps for your wheels. Hi Lance, I'm a huge fan of your vlogs. They always lift my spirits. Enjoy these tire stem valve caps. Tell Grandma and Lizzie hi and can I get a shout out to one of my best friends Ashley Colt, she's amazing, from Caden Bullock. Thank you so much. These actually say anti-theft caps for Audi R8. So you actually need to use this specific Allen key to even get these off. That's pretty cool. Is Mr. Softy really here right now? Get me something. Oh my gosh. Okay, get me it, get me it. Oh, yeah. Mr. Softy's here. Okay, yeah. We want Mr. Softy, so I grabbed the money really quick. I got mango water ice, and what kind did you get? Cotton, cotton candy? candy. I love cotton candy. <laughs> I never realized that people's tire caps actually get stolen. So good thing somebody sent me these. These will come in handy because my dad's tire caps actually got stolen. He was just telling me. I was like, what the hell? People actually do that shit? That's crazy. Let's test out this toy drone, though. This looks pretty cool. All right, so I think I got it working. It's kind of hard to record and do this at the same time. This little drone creates a lot of power. Watch this. That's a lot of power it's creating right there. Feels like a full-fledged fan. Don't it? <laughs> yeah, it's powerful. Oh, shit. It's just stuck up there spinning. <laughs> oh! Ow, it just fucking landed on me. <laughs> oh, that is so cool looking. I got it spinning upside down. <laughs> Gio was just growling at it the whole time. But unfortunately, it died. I gotta charge it. This thing is actually really fun, though. It's nice to fly some sort of drone inside. And maybe I can chase Gio around with it. That'll be pretty cool. And it actually has a camera on it, and it records video as well. I'm assuming it's probably not gonna be the best quality, but I'll try it out once I get it charged up. I got it charging right now, and I'm assuming when it's done charging, either this red light will shut off on the USB cable, or it'll just turn green. I've always loved little toys like that, so thank you so much again for whoever sent that over. So I literally just got out of the shower and threw my clothes on really quick. The reason I'm getting dressed again right now is because me and my sister and my dad are actually gonna go out and go to the movies. My mom was supposed to join us, but she's not feeling that great. So it's just gonna be us going instead, and I think Frank might be joining us as well. We're still trying to figure that out, depending on if he can get a seat or not. 
because we already bought our tickets earlier. It's actually pretty rare when I go out to the movies with my parents anymore. So I'm glad that my dad's actually coming along. But we're going to be seeing The Conjuring 2 tonight, and I'll let you guys know if it's any good or not. I like the first one a lot, so I'm sure I'll love this one as well. And this is supposed to be a scary movie. What's funny about scary movies is I always used to hate them. I used to be a big pussy and would never want to watch them. I don't know. I guess they just scared me very easily. But now I love them. This is actually going back to what I said the other day. How, like, I didn't want to ever go in the pool, but now I love it. Same thing with going to the movies and watching a scary movie. I used to hate it, but now I love it. And I don't even find the movies that scary. Yeah, I might jump sometimes if there's, like, a jump scare scene. But other than that, I just find the movies very interesting. Especially, like, paranormal stuff. Because I actually believe in that stuff actually happening. Like, I believe in ghosts, and I believe that shit like that can actually happen. And probably has happened. So Frank just got here, and today is officially gonna mark the day that Frank becomes a man. You know why? Because Frank is scared of scary movies. I'm not scared, I just do not like them. If I watch a scary movie, I'd rather it be gory with some psychopath chopping people up. I like to see the blood, not like ghosts or demons and shit. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Frank's gonna be joining us along. Unfortunately, Frank cannot actually sit near us. He's in the same row, but a lot of the tickets got sold out already. He's still gonna be sitting in the same row, just not near us. We're like all the way at the end, and he's like on the other side. And guys, I'm just kidding around about the becoming a man thing. If you don't like scary movies, that's just not your thing. You don't like it. No big deal. I just like to fuck around with my friends and piss them off. So that's what I tried doing with Frank. We're on our way there right now. Frank's driving. Drives take, like Sabrina. Take us to our destination, Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Uber, uh, you're working Uber tonight? <laughs> Everyone's gonna think you're an Uber driver now, Frank. Alright, so we just got here. I'm leaving my camera in the car because that just looks mad sketchy whenever I bring a camera into the movie theater. Doesn't it? It's weird. Yeah. What? It's Ten bucks. Ten bucks? <laughs> Considering I paid for my ticket already. Oh shit, he's talking about Uber. the Uber. Oh, okay, Uber <laughs> driver. I got you. I'm only giving you two stars though because you asked for the money. Fuck off. <laughs> Frank was spooked. Yo, Frank was shitting himself in that movie. <laughs> yeah, I no, swear. No, at the same time, he was getting girls' numbers. <laughs> nah, it was a mom. She was talking to me. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, say what you're gonna say, Frank. About what? Exactly. He wants to fucking hold it off now. That would. No, what was I about to say? Getting scared. You, yeah, you oh, were shit. fucking freaking. Yeah, out. I was fucking shitting Frank, myself. What, what, what the hell is that? <laughs> Yeah, I swear to God, I'm holding a fucking knife. Don't do that to me here. Stop! I'm scared shitless. Yo, I'm serious. Dude, I'm serious. Just gonna knife. Fuck out. Don't What's that right thing right down. there, dude? Nah, serious. Old serious. What's that? This? Hanging down. Yeah. I don't worry about that. For real though, that movie was actually <laughs> kind of scary. There was a ton of jump scares in that movie for sure. There was not nearly as much in the first movie, the first Conjuring, but this one there was a lot. Nah, the mom was like about to hold my hand. <laughs> the mom was gonna hold your hand? <laughs> she doesn't look like a mom, she's just like she's twenty. Nah, she was there with her daughter. I thoroughly enjoyed that movie though. What'd you think, Dad? It was good. It was really good. I liked it. Here's the thing, guys. I never usually... I can't show you. <laughs> Here's the thing, guys. I never usually jump at, like, scary movies. And that movie was pretty scary. Not only that, but it was tied along with super loud audio. My When we first got in there, my dad was like, why the hell is it so loud? So, so those two things tied together really made it scarier. Frank keeps saying he's not going to sleep tonight. He's scared shitless. I, guess the <laughs> I swear the last Wait. time I had a... I watched a scary movie movie like I had nightmares for weeks. So. Oh my god. It looks like the furniture do. staying. This is Frank's first time trying raspberry lemonade. How do you like it? Raspberry iced tea is better. No. I no way so. in hell. No, this shit's bomb. I don't like like uh what is it like citrusy type of shit. Oh I got you. It's like acidic. That's yeah. like acidic. Alright guys, that is going to end today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Look at that. <gasps> oh my god. Dude, that was like an explosion. That hurt my ear.